a 1080p webcam with a built-in ring light. This is the Jiga Stream webcam and I'll be checking it out on Thrifty AV. The Jiga Stream webcam offers a 1080p signal with three color temperature lights, each with three brightness settings uh, and a built-in microphone. So wait, this is out of the box. I need to back up and check out the unboxing. Before I get into the box, let's take a look at the outside of the box. This is the Giga Stream webcam with three lighting modes on the built-in ring light. White, warm, and natural. Full HD 1080. Uh, noise reducing microphone, face tracking, ring light, and H.264 encoding. Now I like a natural light, but some folks are going to prefer to use the warm light. Okay, it has effective resolutions and then it has a video stream resolution. The video stream resolution is what most people are going to be interested in. 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. That's your 1080p. And then 2560 by 1440 at 20 frames per second. The fill light quality has 24 LEDs, 12 white, 12 yellow, and 24 natural lights. I guess that's if you combine the white and the yellow. Here's the item dimensions, 90 degree field of view, and the USB cable is a meter and a half, which is fairly long. It should be long enough for most applications. Okay, let's get into this thing. It came with this little flex type tripod with the quarter inch 20 thread here. Here's the instructions. This side is entirely in English. And there is a little protective wrap around this. Here is the camera itself. It can clamp onto a laptop or another monitor using this clamp right here. We have full 360 degree rotation here. And it also tilts like so. I'm going to plug the Jigo webcam up to my HP ProBook. Okay, setting up a device, setting up HD web camera. And HD web camera is set up and ready to go. I want to talk about the light that's built into the Jiga camera. If I hold my finger against it, then it goes to the white light and then I hold it again. It goes to the warm light and I hold it again. It goes to the natural light, which is a combination of the two. Hold it again, it goes off. Now let's go back to the white light. There's three brightness settings. If I just touch it without holding it, it goes to medium. Touch it again, it goes to bright. Touch it again, it turns off. And it goes through that same cycle with all three colors. So low, medium, high, off. And then there's the natural, low, medium, high, off. Okay, I've launched the camera app and I like the fact that this thing has articulation uh, up and down, left and right. The only thing lighting my room right now is that TV set that says Thrifty AV. I'm going to turn on the Jiga light. That's low, medium, and high. And this is the white setting on the Jiga light ring light. The Jiga light is about arm's length away from me, and this is what it looks like at the high white setting. Okay, this is the warm light on low, medium, and high. So this is the warm light on the high setting on the Jiga Stream webcam. Okay, this is the natural light on low, medium, and high. And with the natural light on high, all of the LEDs on the Jigastream webcam are turned on. So this is the brightest setting available on this webcam. And this is what it looks like. And I think for being an arm's length away, it's lighting me up pretty good. I could use this as just a single light source 
uh, for a webcam stream on Zoom or something like that and it should work fine. I've now gone back to my soft boxes as a lighting source and I'm going to compare the Jiga to my Logitech C920 Pro. I've now switched from the Jiga stream webcam to my Logitech C920 Pro. I'm sitting in the exact same position, the camera's mounted in the exact same position, but I believe that the field of view is wider on the Logitech than it was on the Jiga. As far as the 1080p signal, I'm going to take a look at the colors when I go to edit and I'll listen to the sound when I go to edit and that way I'll have a good idea of the comparison of how they look and how they sound side by side. And here they are side by side. No light turned on on the Jiga. The lighting source is the soft boxes. Jiga on the left, Logitech on the right. Looking at the footage, the Jiga provided a 1080p signal, uh, but there was some compression on that signal. Uh, it was most noticeable on my shirt and certainly more noticeable in low light settings with just the Jiga light and uh, a little less noticeable when I'm using my soft boxes. Uh, it had good color balance. I thought the color looked actually more natural than the Logitech. I think the Logitech looked a little more blue with my soft boxes. I like the 90 degree viewing angle. Uh, it's a little bit tighter than the Logitech, but I felt that the Logitech is a little bit too loose. I was not impressed with the built-in microphone on the Jiga. It overmodulated. it was a little bit too hot, and it suffered from interference with certain light settings. So I would highly recommend using an external microphone with the Jiga Stream webcam. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone. <laughs>